Hey there YouTube, so today I have a quick solution uh, for anyone who may be having a certain problem in Premiere Pro. So suppose you were working on a project similar to what I'm doing right now and you happened to delete the audio for any given video clip on the timeline using the unlink option. How would one go about getting it back? Well as it turns out there isn't actually any feature built into Premiere Pro which will do this for you. So I'm going to show you not so much a quick way of getting it back, but a functional way of getting it back. Now what you'll need to do is double click the clip in question on your timeline, and that will open it up in the source viewer on your left. Now what you're going to need to do is click the go to in button in that window, and on the lower left side of your clip you will see a time code. What you're going to need to do here is make a copy of that time code somewhere, and then we will press on. Next, you need to click the Go to Out Point button here, and you'll be given another time code to take note of. Now, what you'll need to do is have a look at the top of your viewer window here, find the name of the file you're looking at right now, in this case MVI7916, and find the corresponding file over in your Project File tab. Once you have it, drag it over the preview in the source window, click the time code on the lower left once again, and enter the first of the two numbers which you took note of earlier. Once you've entered the first number, press enter, then hit I on your keyboard, or click mark in, which you'll see here. Then click the time code once again, and proceed to enter the second number, press enter, then press O on your keyboard, or click mark out right here. Finally, you can either drag and drop the video from the preview window over your existing footage, which will create an exact duplicate of it with audio. Or if you'd rather not lose your color correction or other work you might have done in the clip, you can just make a new video track, drag the video into the new video track, right click, unlink, delete the extra video, and just pull the audio track back up to the main audio track. And that's it, you have now restored your formerly removed audio. If you wish, you can of course go and relink those two now, but all of the work is done. I'm sure you'll agree it's a bit of a long process, but it does work. Hopefully Adobe will remedy this in the next update. Hopefully. Anyway, until next time, live long and prosper, and El Sai Kangaroo.